congratulations. First win of the season and another cup upset for this club, which have made so many. You must be absolutely thrilled. Absolutely delighted, really. Um, I think you mentioned the cup upsets there for the, uh, for the club. I mean, I've only been in a short period of time um, since February, and it's nice to carry on that tradition that you know that the club had. And we're, we're so delighted. I mean, we've made changes today, shown the depth in our squad. Most players have, uh, have come in and, and you know have done magnificent work, well, scored some great goals, um, and, and uh, for us, we've shown our quality throughout the game. First half had a little bit of difficulty, you know, getting to grips with. Uh, the level playing against a, a, a team who were, uh, you know, they're in the um, championship playoffs last season, um, and you know they've they've made changes, but they're still that stature of club. Um, and I, I think you know once again we're so proud of our, our, our players. We've, we've got a squad of players who, who we believe in, and we've put them out today, and they've you know they've gone and given James a, a real headache now for, for the coming up games um, in, in terms of picking a team. And let's not forget you trailed twice as well. So t tell me about the character of this. Yeah, yeah, that, that um, resilience, but it, it's something that throughout pre-season um, we've been working on that in terms of how we how we train to have that um, intensity, that no uh, no disappointments about us. We've signed players who have who have got that um, resilience about them, um, and you know we're so pleased that they showed that today. It's obviously, you um, come out second half when uh, you know a bigger team scores an early goal, you think. People might think that we, uh, you know, we might crumble and they might kick on, but for us to, to, to score, you know, pretty quickly after it and, and score really good goals um, and then kick on again was just, just, just so impressive. Right. How much did you adapt in this game? Because certainly the first 20 minutes, Luton were pressing you very high, and at times you, you almost struggled to get out of your half. Yeah. As the game wore on, you seemed to get better. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's you know, we, again, we're coming out, coming away to a. a, a, a a, a team with, with status who are a couple of leagues above us. Um, you know, we've had a few uh, full debuts who, who have you know started games for us for the, for the first time today. There might have been a little bit of nerves in there and, and, and then I was getting to grips with it, but you know, once the, the guys got that feel for, for the game and then you know you get the uh, the goal and realise you know what we, we can compete with these, we're all right, we're in the game. I think we for me we're delighted we just we just kicked off from there and, and, and dealt with um, whatever Looking through us, and, and, and we, you know, we hit back with some real good quality bits of play. As you mentioned, eight changes. James said at the weekend, those coming into the team want to try and force their way in. Yeah. How much of a headache have you now got ahead of Bradford at the weekend? <laughs> well, I think from you know, obviously we've got we've got the wins. Uh, I think from uh, if you're anybody who's watching it, I think you showed our showed our quality and the type of goals that we can um, uh, that, that we can score, but. As I said, I think, I think James has said it along in his previous press that we've we wanted to and he's wanted to evolve the squad so that he's got a squad of starters who are sat on the bench um, who, who at any time we can roll the team around who are knocking on the door and um, and really put pressure on those who have got the, the shirt um, to, to make sure that they the play at a high level to keep it. So um, now those guys have gone in there and you know done really well as good performances across the board today. It's just you know it puts us in a great position going forward because you know and in the football league there's you know you've got so many instances where you're playing Saturday Tuesdays and it's it's tough to play the game so we've got to roll the team around a bit and, and now we know that the guys can handle it we knew they could anyway but you know for to go out and get performance like that it's really good. Some Premier League teams are in the hat in the next round. Is there anyone in particular you fancy? Uh, I don't know who's in the hat. But you know we'll, we'll take who, whoever really. Um, it'd be nice to get a, a a big team back at Rodney Parade and have one of those nights. You know, I've, me and James haven't experienced those that you know that the club have had in the in the recent years. So it'd be great to get one of those. But we'll take anybody. You know, we, we've we've shown today that we uh, we can go and mix it with a with a you know a, a good team who have um, you know have got a recent history of, of doing pretty well themselves. So we're we're, we're happy to go. And last one from me. Yeah. Uh, I know James will want to add new players before the window shuts. Is anything likely to happen before Saturday? Do you know? Um, I'm, I'm not sure before um, the, the weekend, but um, I think it's probably mentioned before that you know that we're always looking and there, there might be uh, there might be something that we'd look to do definitely before the the end of the window, just to, to add that little bit extra to the to the squad. You know, we're really happy with with, with where it is at the minute anyway, because you know the, as we've shown today, the players have done done really well, but. Um, it, it would be nice to maybe add maybe one, maybe two more players. Well done today. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. In terms of the Lewis and Shanker in particular, young strikers, what will that, that do just getting off, off the mark? Yeah, I, I think um, 
you know, and also uh, James White coming there. He's, I mean, he, you know, he's still a young guy as well. So he scored last, se uh, last season, done well last season. But uh, for those guys, as strikers this season to get off the mark, it's you know, it's, it's it's what you put them on the pitch to do. So for their confidence, not starting the first couple of games, it's just a huge boost. You know, uh, again, um, Chan can make his first start for the club, um, doing really well. They both grew into the game. Lewis Collins has been. He, he, what he showed out there today is his, his level of consistency that he's shown throughout the training pre-season. His, his consistency has been really at a good high level, he's really focused in and he's uh, really applied himself so I was delighted for him to get that goal. Especially with five subs there, because Omar and Oz have started well as well. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, definitely, definitely. I think that's the uh, one that I, I, I'm sure that uh, managers and, and the clubs across the board throughout the uh, league and Premier League have, have mentioned that with five subs, he, he, you know, it's nice to have a, have a strong bench because you know, when, uh, when James turns around and looks behind him on the, on the bench, he wants to look at players who he wants to bring on. And I think we've got you know, more, than, more than five, we've got plenty that we want to bring on, so it's, it's, it's great for them to go and do that. Priestley coming back, that's been nice. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, he's had a had a real, real tough time, um, and even in uh, even in recent weeks, we you know we've got to manage him with his injuries because he's had a really serious injury, and he's he, but he's he's throughout it applied himself. He's always got a smile on his face. You know, he works hard um, every day, and it's just it's great for him to, to get on the pitch there. And we just just we we, we brought him off just he's uh, he's he's not that that much training, and, and it's through his legs, so uh, we had to look after him. Beckham and Chody can go play that middle. middle yeah, well. yeah, yeah. I think um, you know, along with the other players there, I think um, Declan's um, you know a good signing for now, but also a good, great signing for the future of the, of the club. Is he's, he's um, I think only with with time and games, he's going to grow into a player with real, real stature and real quality that can play at a high level. So you know, showed his versatility today, and, and you know, I think he can play in any of the three back three positions. That first goal, probably you were sort of taking the <coughs> wind out of most teams. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you came back. Yeah. And equalised twice. Didn't get in the league with 40 minutes remaining, so that's a way to win a cup time. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, as I said, uh, there the the quality of uh, there was quality in all the in all the goals. Uh, you know, the the first one, uh, you know, was a, a great one across the whole of the pitch, but. Even in the you know in the attacking third areas, the uh, our, our second and third goal were, were very good. And uh, so again, Chanka's finish was was good, and then he was in the right place and uh, was unlucky not to get the third. But uh, James Wade followed up really well. What was your view of your first goal because Luton were protesting it was an injury that fell? I've looked back at it myself, and I think it was. Uh, I, I think maybe because their player got injured in it, I think they're worried about the foul. Um, for me, I, I think um, Adam Lewis has contested for a, for a ball. I think, unfortunately, their player has got his, his foot is is uh, is planted in the ground. I think he's you know he's got an injury from that, but I, I just think it was a fair fair contest for the ball. And then you know we we've got on and, and reacted well, and uh, you know and then got on and had a great yeah. bit of play, fantastic bit of play, and then you know the calmness from you know all young players, uh, the yeah. calmness that showed throughout that's brilliant, brilliant. So you've got a new generation there to become a new generation of Newport Giant Killers. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you know, they already are. Actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, we've got uh, within the group. We've got a good mix of um, some of those players who have who have been in that position where they've um, you know they've been at the club when they've had those giant killer nights and those fantastic nights, and then they've got the we've got the young guys who are who are desperate to you know to, to experience that as well. So it'd be it'd be fantastic to get another one at, at Robbie Parade, but whoever comes comes. Yeah. All the best. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.